Hey, what's up guys? This is Mario back again with another YouTube video. In today's video, guys, I do want to talk about Build-A-Bear Workshop. Today, Build-A-Bear Workshop did announce a partnership with Nintendo uh, for an Animal Crossing's New Horizon collection. It's going to feature two characters. It's going to feature uh, Tom Nook. You guys see this guy right behind me. And also Isabel it will be this character right here. Uh, and it's going to be exclusively launched today online only. So people who want to get these uh, Builder Bears, they're going to have to buy online. Now they do are planning to feature these characters on your local Builder Bear workshop throughout the summer. And they're hoping to, of course, uh, you know, they haven't announced, but they're thinking, it, I mean, we're hoping as, as, a, as a fan, they may have more characters. So uh, that's what that's we're looking for. So, so now the next, the next thing I want to talk about is I want to talk about the stock, guys. I do want to talk about the Build a Bear Workshop stock. That did report fourth quarter earnings in the month of March, and they actually exceeded earnings uh, estimates based on some analysts, um, you know, estimates. So they exceeded that. So that's really, really good. Uh, and I also want to go over the technical analysis uh, because the chart is trending. Uh, it actually has more than double in the last year. So I want to kind of go over that, guys. So, and the reason why, because I think this may be a great investment. Uh, but again, I want to go over some of the risk. I want to go over some of the levels that I'm looking at uh, to get in as well as to take profits, things like that, guys. Uh, so, hey, now, guys, don't forget to smash that like button. I do appreciate that support. It does help build this YouTube channel. Also, subscribe to this channel. I do post new videos every single week talking about the latest stocks that make, may make a move in the stock market. So, hey, guys, now let me uh, get, my, get started. Let me share my screen and uh, let's get started. Okay, guys. So, uh, what I want to do first, guys, I do want to show you guys um, my Thinkorswim uh, account really quickly so I can show you guys a chart. Um, and you guys see, this is a six month chart. Um, and when they reported earnings, was, which actually was in this day, was uh, March 10th, it did have a gap up. There was definitely some volume coming in, guys. There was definitely some volume. I do like that. Uh, now, it since has, of course, a pull back to the uh, support level at seven, and it has helped. It bounced off. So that looks good. Now, what I really like about the build a bear uh, uh, stock is that it's trending. And that's the most important thing, because when a stock is trending, it usually tends to hold this trend for long periods of time. So in terms of technical analysis, uh, you know, we, we have here the orange line, which is the 50 day moving uh, average. The red uh, line, which is the 200 moving average. So right now is definitely trending above the 50 day moving average and it's holding very, very nicely. And it's also uh, trending above the nine, nine day moving average. It was a short term moving average. So things are looking good. Now, uh, I do want to kind of go over a long term chart. Now, actually more than five years. I want to kind of go over, let's say a 10 year chart. And this is a 10 year monthly chart. Actually, you know what? Even better, let's go over a 15 year monthly chart. So this is what I'm, I'm looking at. You know, last time it had a really nice trend was actually between, uh, in between uh, 2013, February 2013, and it ended on January 2015. So it was kind of like a strong two year trend. Uh, so that's really, really nice, guys. So. Of course, it looks like uh, maybe they didn't hit their, their earnings and it started to kind of pull back. Now, it did bottom again. Now, it did bottom during, uh, of course, the start of the pandemic. Uh, and that was around, uh, let's say, March 2020. Yeah, that was the bottom around March 2020. If you guys see the low of the low was $1 and it did bottom there. And to me, it looks like it's starting this trend. Uh, their earnings, uh, again, they did report earnings uh, fourth quarter uh, in March, and they did beat and exceeded expectations. And the chart looks like it's starting to trend again. So I really like this. I really, really like this. So I want to go over, uh, I want to go over fundamentals first before I go over any more technicals. So let's, let's get, let's go over some of the, the fundamental stuff. Uh, but first, I want to talk about the Animal Crossing's uh, partnership, you know, because that's very, very important, guys, because every time, uh, you know, companies partner with bigger companies like Nintendo or, or they, they partner with, with, with uh, companies that have uh, exciting uh, products or exciting, um, you could say, characters like uh, Animal Crossings, it, it tends to help the company a lot. Uh, so right here, you guys can see Animal Crossings New Horizon collection has arrived at Build-A-Bear Workshop. So 
you know, uh, New Horizon fans will be delighted by this special collection. So uh, today, Build Bear, uh, in a partnership with Nintendo, announced a new Animal Crossing New Horizon collection, launching exclusively online today and available in stores in the summer. Uh, the Build Bear collection includes uh, for friends clothing and accessories inspired by the popular Animal Crossing New Horizons game on Nintendo Switch system. This is the first time the Animal Crossing New Horizon um, plush is being offered by Build a Bear Workshop. So, like I mentioned earlier, um, it's going to add include Tom Nook, uh, the character that I mentioned uh, here and behind me, and also Isabel, uh, the other character uh, that I also mentioned right here. So uh, I want to kind of go over their earnings report because that's that's really what kind of comes into the fundamentals, guys. Um, you know, um, and, and I, I want to go over why that is important because you know when it comes down to it, you know why does the stock tend to move and continue to move is really is fundamentals because the people who are really pushing the stock up and continue to buy are institutional investors. Institutional investors, they're coming in with, you know, now they don't come in with a couple thousand dollars, they're coming in with a couple million dollar positions, you know, they're coming big. So that's really what matters. Um, and for, in order for these big institutions to buy these companies, they have to have good earnings reports. They have to have good fundamentals. So, Let's kind of go over uh, their, their, their uh, fourth quarter earnings report. So Build a Bear Workshop exceeds guidance with pre-tax income on 9.2 million in fiscal 2020 fourth quarter. Uh, fourth quarter gap pre-tax income of 9.2 million, a 20.8% increase compared to the prior year period. A fourth quarter total revenue of 93.7 million, a 10.4% decrease compared to the prior year. Uh, fourth quarter e-commerce demand increases 104% compared to the prior year. Now, this is where it's very important, guys. Because at the start of the pandemic, uh, of course, all, there was a lot of restrictions. You know, a lot of malls closed. And of course, it imp impacted uh, Build the Bear. Uh, that's why you see, you saw the stock literally sell off in March, which is the start of the pandemic. Uh, so they switched to the online and they did a really, really good job uh, because it shows that their fourth quarter e-commerce demand increased by 104%. So this shows that they've done a really good job in bringing um, their customers online, uh, which is really, really good. Now, at, end, at year end consolidated cash balance was 34.8 million, up 8.1 million from fiscal 2019 year end with no borrowing, borrowings on the company's credit facility, which is really, really good. Uh, so right now they have uh, $34.8 million in cash and they have not borrowed any money. That just sounds that the company is very fiscal responsible, uh, which is really, really good uh, for uh, a fundamental analysis for investors. So. Let's kind of look at, go over what other people think, you know, um, you know, what some of the other articles. Now, this is a Market Watch article. Uh, Build a Bear shares soar after earnings blow past expectations. Now, this article was published March 10, the day that uh, Build a Bear Workshop did report their earnings. So, Build a Bear Workshop uh, stock soared 19% on Wednesday, March 10, the day they reported earnings. Um, after the comp after the toy company reported fourth quarter earnings that were well above expectations, net income total 8.8 .8 million or 57 cents per share, up from 6.2 million or 42 cents per share from uh, last year. Adjusted earnings per share of 47 cents blew past fact set consensus uh, for 16 cents, which is pretty big. They doubled that. Uh, now revenue of 93.7 million was down uh, from 104.6 million, but also ahead of the fact side consensus of 90.5 million. Uh, now e-commerce sales more than doubled during a quarter of 104%. Uh, store closures continue to hurt the business according to a statement from Chief Executive Sharon Price John. Build a Bear will offer uh, a collection based on Nintendo Switch game, Animal Crossing New Horizons later this quarter and a movie based on a Build-A-Bear collection, Honey Girls. And that's what I kind of mentioned earlier. Now this Honey Girls uh, movie is anticipated for a fall release. Uh, Build-A-Bear uh, stock has skyrocketed 135% over the past year, while the benchmark S&P 500 has only been up 34%. So this stock makes moves. 
you know? So that's the reason why I'm very interested because uh, as you, you guys saw that the long-term chart of 10 years, uh, you know, it, it, it more than double and tripled. So I want to bring this stock because this is a long, long-term investment. Uh, and I want to make sure the fundamentals kind of match the tentacles uh, to make this investment something that is worthwhile. So uh, here is the Honey uh, Girls uh, movie uh, information, and which is found on their website at the buildabear.com website. So here is some of the stuff. Um, now, uh, the uh, multi-planet uh, singer-songwriter, actress Ashanti, and digital star uh, Tessa Brooks uh, will be part of this movie. Uh, so all the details are on our website, but, you know, but it is real. It is, it is definitely planning out and they're working on it. Uh, now, what I kind of want to go over, guys, is some of the stuff uh, that I do want to mention and kind of come and talk about because when it comes down to this, this company, I do want to mention that it is a small cap, a very, very small cap. It's only, it's only has $114 million market capitalization. So that's pretty much what the company is worth. Usually large institutions, very, very big companies like to invest in bigger companies, a billion dollar market capitalization or more. Uh, but the good news is that 61.8% of the, the shares of the company is actually owned by big institutions. So that is good. Um, but, um, and, and it, but it looks like, um, you know, in terms of the volume, and one of the things that I want to mention is the, the average daily volume is not, as, not that big. It's 567,000 per day, which is kind of low volume compared to some of the other companies that I do invest. Usually some of the companies that I like to invest have over a million, sometimes 10 or 15 million shares available. Uh, I mean, traded in a day, which to me pretty much telling me that this is not a, a stock that you kind of put a large position. This is a stock you put a small percentage of your portfolio, maybe 1% to 2%, uh, just because the liquidity is not there. And also is because there's a lot of volatility. And that's what I want to talk about. Now, in terms of the float, it's only a 13.32 million float, which is actually kind of good. That's the reason why it makes such big moves. It's because the float is very, very small. Um, now, let's kind of go over uh, the chart again. Uh, so one thing I want to mention uh, is that like a, it, it is a volatile stock. Um, if you look at the uh, implied volatility of the most, uh, the, uh, the, the most current uh, uh, options, it's 132%. Uh, so implied volatility, 132%, upper minus uh, $1.37. So that means that this stock could go up one or two dollars, uh, you know, at any day, at any time. Uh, so of course the volatility there is there. So hence the reason why I will only put a small position in my portfolio, like a one percent or two percent, no more than two percent, just because of the volatility. But in terms of the upside, there's definitely a lot of upside. You know, I am looking at the seven number. I think seven is a great area to 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 buy if you get a chance. Uh, if not, right now at the 750 is also pretty good. In terms of target to take profits, I mean, I like nine. Nine is definitely a target. After that, of course, uh, 10, 11, 12, you know, every single dollar start trimming up some profits. Uh, now, this stock, of course, is still in a very, uh, is still in a pretty strong trend. Uh, so I am, I'm, I'm definitely looking for forward to that trend. Uh, now, I do see that trend intact. The fundamentals are in place. Uh, so that's definitely that's something that I'm looking at. Now, of course, guys, because it is such a, a small cap, very low volume um, and a lot of volatility. Again, I do not recommend to go big, big position. Again, stick to a small position of one or two percent. And I think you'll be, be OK. And so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below in the YouTube comments. Uh, hey, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. You guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys.